Hey Scorpio, welcome to your love connection reading for the last half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much, so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below for any and all information you need about me, personal readings, social media links, decks I'm using, tons and tons of information there. So please go check that out, past playlists also. And uh, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or, to, or donation to the channel. All your support really means a lot to me. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, helping the channel grow. I couldn't do it without you guys and I truly love to do this. So thank you so much. Okay, Scorpio love connection reading. Now this can be any type of connection, nothing specific some sort of connection you have with another person so whoever you have in mind at this time all right so i hope everybody's doing well going into fall now okay where is time going i don't know all right scorpio love connection reading second half of september this is a zodiac oracle so we'll see what we get if you don't resonate with this part totally fine this is sort of like a little extra bonus. Rest of the reading may be for you or a message in here or something. If you clicked on the title, then there's probably something drew you here. So there may be a message in here for you. Okay, so we have Capricorn. So some Scorpios could be dealing with a Capricorn. And they could have it in their chart somewhere if it's not their sun sign. Sun, moon, rising, or Venus some way. Capricorn, though, in the tarot, does represent the devil, which does represent, can represent a very strong, strong attraction with somebody. Chemistry can also represent toxicity, addictions, obsessions, negative thinking, fear, anything like that. So if you're not dealing with the Capricorn, uh, I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. And Capricorn here is 10. Tens do represent endings. But then you add that together and there's always a new beginning. So somebody could be ending toxic behavior, toxic uh, activity, um, toxic addi uh, addictions, obsessions um, of some kind here. Or you could be ending a toxic situation of some kind. I don't know. Or that may not even be, uh, that may just be a uh, message for some of you who are just tuning in. And the rest of the reading could go in a whole different direction. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. For Scorpio, let's get an overall love connection energy for Scorpio. Second half of September. Spirit, please. What is the overall love connection energy like for Scorpio? Second half of September, please. Just one card. Thank you so much. One card. Yep. <laughs> and when I ask, I always get one card. Sacred Earth Mother, a message of love. So we have 42, which is about balance and healing. So there definitely is love here. Somebody could be grounding themselves in sacred earth. Capricorn is an earth sign. So some of you definitely could be dealing with an earth sign. There definitely is love here. Or somebody could just be ending some negative ways about them. Could be fear, negative ways of thinking, or some sort of toxic energy uh, within them, around them. And getting more grounded with the earth energy and there is love there maybe they're having self-love now i don't know we'll see so let's get let's get one card for you and how you are feeling towards your person in this connection and then one card for your person and how they are feeling in this connection so let's get one for your person whoever you have in mind at this time and how are they feeling about you? Wow, that just flew way over there. Holy cow. Oh boy, I need to get that because I feel like that is meant for them. All right. So 
Sorry about that. So, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. Now, let me try to scooch in here without disturbing everything's tight quarters. Sitting kind of like at a weird angle at the table here so you can see the cards. So for you, we have reflection, illusion, self-examination, distortion. Hmm. A 13 is a four, which is about stability, your foundation and basis. So maybe you are the one overcoming addictions, obsessions, fear, negative thinking, some sort of toxic energy. Because you have illusion, which, you know, if you're in, a st in an altered state, everything seems like an illusion, self-examination, really, you know, and distortion, really reflecting and self-examining yourself. Or you could be, you know, it's about how you feel about your person. So maybe you know they were in this energy at one time. And, but they have now liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. Wow. 25, which is seven, which is divinely guided. And you see the, the peace energy here of the dove. And the seven here is being very divinely guided. Liberation, breaking free from a negative attachment. And there, Capricorn, the negative negativity of the devil energy. Wow. So... They, you know, maybe they just broke free from a toxic situation. You know, maybe they ended things, maybe they ended things with a Capricorn and it was a very toxic situation. You know, and maybe, you know, you were in this energy of, you know, maybe it's just illusion, examining the whole connection. You know, maybe it's all in my head as what you kind of have the moon energy there, like not knowing all the facts of there situation but then you have the sun kind of energy here so I do feel like if there was a time when you didn't know all the facts or you felt disillusioned everything seemed distorted really reflecting and examining this connection they shed light on their situation with the sun energy here and brought peace and harmony back into your connection but I think they had to let something toxic go maybe that's the situation here and they came through to you with a message of love here that they're much more stable and grounded. So, I mean, they could have been a Capricorn or maybe they were involved with a Capricorn in some way or that could just represent the devil energy. The Capricorn there. And on the bottom of the deck here, we have Amethyst, Transformation, Certainty, Confidence, four and one, which is five, which is all about big changes. So... So things transformed here in this connection. You know, people are confident now. They are more confident now. There's a certain certainty now in this connection. You know, things have changed again with the shedding of the sun, the light, enlightenment now in this connection. So the double sun here overcoming the moon energy here. Wow. And sacred heart here. Wow. Passion, love, spiritual communion. So there definitely is love and passion in this uh, connection here in one and two, three coming together, rejoicing, celebrating, being happy. Wow. So make sure you can see that. Okay. So let's clarify these with the tarot. This is the sexual magic tarot. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this tarot. There are uh, there is some female nudity from the waist up and sexual images. So if you are under 18, you may not want to watch. And if you're offended by that, then maybe you don't want to watch from this point. Or I guess you could close your eyes and listen. <laughs> that is an option. <laughs> okay. So let's clarify. Why do you have reflection here, Scorpio? It's too many. Why does Scorpio have re reflection here, Spirit, please? Thank you so much. Well, we'll do one for you and one for your person. So we have the fool. So maybe you felt like a fool in this connection. You know, this is about a new beginning, though. Leaping in, having, you know, a fresh new start. Having that uh, faith and hope everything will be fine. And just taking that leap and jumping right in. 
right in Aquarius energy here. So either that or you felt at a time here like a fool about this connection because you were unsure with the moon energy here of being disillusioned and distorted about the whole connection. It's like you wanted the new start. You wanted to take the leap of faith, but then you kind of felt like a fool also. And they have the Six of Cups. Wow. So this is, again, this could be somebody you knew from the past. Uh, this also could talk of past life um, energy too. This could be somebody you've known for a very long time. With the Six of Cups energy, it could be somebody you reunited with, reconnected with from the past, childhood friend, old co-worker, uh, somebody you went to school with. But with the cup energy there, that is your energy, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So there definitely is love and, and emotions about you there uh, for them. So let's get some clarifiers now for you. Let's get one for you with the full energy here. And let's get one for your person. So now we have the Six of Swords. So, yeah, so <laughs> this, you know, does talk about going into a lot of sixes. So, yeah, six, six, six. So things I feel um, are getting very balanced, very healing, balanced energy now between the two of you. And this is the Six of Swords. So this is leaving, you know, wanting to leave all the past baggage behind and going into a more positive healing place here. But you felt like a fool maybe because you thought maybe it wasn't going to happen um, because of their situation or whatever they were going through. If they were leaving a toxic situation with somebody else or overcoming uh, personal toxic energies within them, however that works uh, for you. So for them, we have the Hierophant. So wow, so Taurus energy. So definitely wanting commitment with you here, maybe even marriage. They do see long-term commitment. They feel you're their person here with the Hierophant. And this is having like newfound spirituality, faith, hope, optimism, healing energy, doing what's moral, just, and right, overcoming this toxic energy. And that could be also them leaving a marriage. They could have left a marriage. But I feel like they also want commitment with you. I feel like they've left a toxic marriage. And they feel liberated now. Wow. <laughs> because now they can be with you. They may reunite with you, with somebody from the past here. All right. So let's see what the actual situation is now. You Scorpio. Scorpio. I feel like I'm connecting with a whole new um, group of you because the last readings I did was all about coming into union with your soulmate to inflame. So now I feel like this may be a new group. Okay. Your actual situation. So we have the lovers. Wow. <laughs> wow, Scorpio. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Holy crap. Let's see. We get one more. And the Ten of Wands. Wow. So we have the lovers, which is Gemini. We have the Ten of Pentacles. Here's the Earth energy of Virgo, uh, Taurus, Capricorn. The Ten of Wands is fire, Leo, Sagittarius. So again, you know, with the two women here. So I definitely feel like you knew they were leaving a toxic marriage. They were bound by somebody else here. You knew that with the lovers here. But this is definitely soulmate energy uh, with the lovers here. And then, then we have the Ten of Wands. So whatever they, they could have been involved, either with a Taurus or a fire sign here, this is the Ten of Wands. So this is ending, again, ending Ten. So uh, ending something very burdensome. Just could not do it anymore. So, yep, yeah, definitely here, ending, ending something here. And now they're more balanced and healed connecting the two of you is the Ten of Pentacles. So there is a lot of stability between the to two of you. Growth, abundance, um, prosperity, coming together and sharing everything 
with the Ten of Pentacles energy. So wow, long term, long term commitment also with the Hierophant over here. So let's get more clarity now. So now we have the Three of Pentacles, wow. And the Four of Wands. So yep. Yeah, so this, if this is a new group, this is also another group of Twin Flame Soulmates. Or it could be the same group. But here's the Three of Pentacles. So coming together, working together, working things out. Uh, teamwork, collaboration um, for security, stability, moving forward for the future. Very stable energy and working together. Four of Wands energy here. Again, Four of Wands is about marriage, commitment, the home, stability. And he and it could be also marriage ceremonies, celebrations, and now you have the hierophant, which does t talk of commitment and marriages. So again, you know, you could they could be leaving this, and then you could be jumping in, getting married right away. I don't know here. Ten of Pentacles. That's like sharing of everything, the assets, the home, the family, coming together as one in all ways, and having long term stability, growth together, life life partner here wow all right so let's get some advice for you scorpio let's get some advice for you scorpio moving forward this connection some advice for you scorpio so we have the Page of Swords. I'll just move these up a little bit so you can see them. So we have the Page of Swords. I just want to get one more. One more for Scorpio, please. One more. This one right here wanted to jump, but it didn't. Wow, so we have the Magician, wow, which is Gemini Virgo, and now we have the Knight of Swords, no, the Page of Swords, the Knave of Swords, that's the Page of Swords, um, Libra Gemini Aquarius. So, huh, so I don't know, uh, and this is manifesting a brand new beginning with the Magician, so your advice is to manifest this brand new beginning. Know everything, though, you need to know about, <coughs> I just need a drink here. You know, the Page of Swords can talk about doing online research or spying on people. It's also communication, truthful communication. So, <coughs> yeah, my throat's getting very scratchy and closed up. So you may need to have some big, truthful, honest communication conversations with this person, with the Page of Swords. It's like doing your work, your research. Know everything you need to know about them, uh, what they went through or their situation if need be before you manifest this brand new beginning here have some heart to heart conversations here with this person before starting because you have the fool here and then the brand new beginning so don't be a fool you know have these truthful honest communication uh, with this person about whatever it is that they went through, going through, if it's overcoming something or leaving something toxic. All right. Let's see, I wanted two more for more clarity. So we have the Ace of Cups, Six of Wands. So I do see here, brand new beginning in love here, soulmate energy, divinely guided, big, big love here. Uh, love and emotions are overflowing, uh, divinely guided. Water, that's your energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Six of Wands, fire energy again. Six of Wands, success, uh, moving forward. Victor victory, success. So there is a very victorious brand new beginning in love. Soulmate, twin flame energy. Heart to heart conversations are needed before manifesting this union forward. All right. You want to make sure what I'm getting is all their toxic toxicity is clear before you manifest this brand new beginning. Do see a lot of love, fire, passion, stability, communication. So it's all here. So what is the outcome? What is the outcome? 
for this for you Scorpio what is the outcome please spirit thank you so much so we have the king of swords so this is the air energy Libra Gemini Aquarius so this is you know they definitely they could be if they're not a Capricorn they could be an air sign Libra Gemini Aquarius so again this is you know honesty truth communication um, standing up for you for them cutting away things no longer serving the situation truth and clarity uh, King of Swords is very logical doesn't mess around doesn't take any BS so it could be your energy or their energy or just the energy of your connection moving forward so let's see here we have the eight of cups the queen of cups which is your energy and the empress so i feel like here with the eight of cups you know that is the energy of walking away from something no longer fulfilling so this person might have just you know you know stood up for themselves here and left a situation that was no longer serving them but now they're walking to you so this is your outcome i feel like they're standing up for themselves for once they're being liberated. They're doing what's best for them, leaving this toxic situation or toxic behaviors and walking to you. Eight of Cups is water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And for clarifiers, we have the Empress and the Queen of Cups. So they see you here. Wow. You know your value, your worth here. The Empress energy standing in your power. And again, with the Queen of Cups here, walking to you with the Queen of Cups energy, standing up and doing what's best for them, leaving a situation no longer serving them, because you see this card is leaving that situation, leaving that behind, and walking to you. The Queen of Cups energy, and then the Empress here is the birth of something new also, the birth of this new connection, this new union now. Being stable and grounded, truth, honesty, passion, um, stability. I think I said that. Um, so it's all here with the Empress energy. Knowing value and worth in one another, having respect for one another. Wow. All right, so let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So now we have the moon, Cancer, Pisces. You know, we could talk about secrets, illusions. Again, you have the moon here. So I definitely feel, feel like you went through a time of feeling disillusioned, not knowing all the facts here. Queen of Wands. So like I said, they could have been involved. I had said that maybe with a fire sign. Because so we have the Ten of Wands over here, which is releasing and ending that burden, some toxic energy, which could have been with a fire sign, a Queen of Wands energy. Leo, Sag, or Aries. Judgment. So here's your energy, Scorpio, making a final judgment call, decision here. And here's uh, Gabriel here, bringing the soulmates together. So definitely bringing you together and then making the final decision to leave what they need to leave behind so they can come together with you. And there's your brand new beginning, very passionate, Ace of Wands, passionate, fiery, exciting new beginning. Yep, Three of Swords. Definitely three party here at one time, which caused some heartbreak at, you know, some time here, maybe for you. But there's a brand new beginning. You've got the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Judgment Call, leaving that Queen of Wands person that you were uh, a little bit in the dark about, but I think everything's come to light now, or it will come to light. All right, so let's get more energy for you, Scorpio. Scorpio. Second half of September. What else do we have for Scorpio? So we have deceit and we have loyalty. Wow, so <laughs> two very different energies here. So 83, which is 11, which is half of the twin flame number. Come, and then one and one, two is two people coming together. So, you know, maybe you felt there was some deceit here at one time because you didn't know all the facts. You didn't know everything that was going on. 
until they were finally able to tell you once they were released from all this negative energy. And you see that woman's very, um, looks very toxic. So but then you have loyalty here. So, and that is 33. Again, three coming together, teamwork, working together, rejoice and celebrating. Six, three, three, six, peace, harmony, balance, loyalty. So I do feel like a lot of loyalty between the two of you. Uh, and they always felt that in their heart that they wanted to be loyal to you. And then we have the moon again. I just took the top card, the moon. But things changed with the five there. We have the moon three times now. So that's a big message. But, I, but 50, five things, there were big, big change here. Now this peace, harmony, balance, enlightenment. Now on the bottom of the deck, we have obedience, 84 which is 12, which is three, which is working together, teamwork, collaboration again. So, you know, maybe whoever they were with was very um, controlling. That was part of the toxic behavior. Like they had to obey their every word in some way. Very toxic, toxic, man manipulating kind of energy. But they, take, they took movement here out of that situation definitely here with the horse energy they finally decided to leave get up leave and move away from that situation nine and two um eleven again twin flame two two people coming together so now we have the high priestess of spirit divinely guided so this is spirit saying you know divinely guiding them to finally leave the situation and bringing the two soulmates together here, high priestess of spirit, spirit divinely guided, this twin, twin flame soulmate connection between the two of you. Wow. Wow, Scorpio. This didn't resonate for you, Scorpio. You can check the description box below for past playlists. Maybe something there will resonate for you. I'd say watch them anyway and disregard the dates. I do consider them all timeless. And if you do like my style, please do like, share, comment, subscribe. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs, so don't miss out on that. And I do ask if you don't like all the notifications that you don't unsubscribe, you can as easily unclick the bell. You'll no longer receive notifications, but you'll still be subscribed. You'll have to manually go into your subscriptions area and scroll through all the latest videos from your subscriptions and find um, my readings there. So it's something you kind of have to do randomly to see if I've uploaded anything new. If you're not seeing them in your um, recommended section to the right when you watch other videos. Um, so you do have that option. Or if you follow me on social media, you'll know when I upload new videos. Okay, Scorpio, good luck to you in your love connection here, and I'm sending you much light, love, and blessings, and as I always, always say with my channel, is to always, always shine your light.